Well, hello. And welcome to the 365 Day Gaming Challenge. This is the challenge where I play an unplayed game for my point of shame every day. And today is day 305 and we are taking a look at Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PC. Now this isn't actually completely my first look at Red Dead Redemption 2, but it is my first look at Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PC. I have played this on Xbox 360, I think, at 30 frames per second. Uh, subtitles on. We are playing on headphones. Let us have a look. Settings, left stick. Right. Graphics. What has it defaulted us to? We are using 6 gigs of 12 gigs. Uh, uh, 4K. VSync on. Um, that. Um, we'll leave it off for the time being. On Ultra. Ultra, Ultra, Ultra. Ultra. I, have we got DLSS? We do have DLSS. We will put that on, and it also supports, by the looks, AMD's FSR. Good. Um, reflection quality, well, well, we'll put that onto medium, and lighting quality, we'll put onto high. Apply changes. Yes, I do. Shall we run a benchmark test and see how that performs? Oh, you've got to hold down the button. Running a benchmark test will return you to the main menu afterwards. Why? Who knows? That is just how it is. We are playing on a pad, so we will, in a second, invert the y-axis, because that is the correct way to use a pad. Where's this benchmark then? Come on. The thing... I didn't enjoy about this game on the Xbox 360, apart from the 30 frames per second. Was it? I, th I always feel like this game wastes a lot of your time. So if you're out there skinning animals because you need them to get some money for buying other stuff, you have to sit through the whole animations of you skinning an animal. Where you could just push a button and, and get the stuff without having to sit through it. Is, is, that, is, is that the... F okay, no, it's doing some more benchmarking. I think we should be able to get a, a, uh, a solid 60 frames per second on this, I think, with DLSS on. I'd be very surprised if we couldn't. It's twilight. It's night time. Oh, look at the stars. Look at the Milky Way. I wonder if that is uh, astronomically accurate. Or whether the stars are just in random places. So we're going to have to go through the whole walking through the snow stuff, aren't we? If I remember rightly, that's how the game starts. No respect. No respect. 
I did play the original Red Dead Redemption to death, so I very much enjoyed that game. And I don't know why I didn't enjoy the second game quite as much. And I'm hoping this time with a better frame rate it might be a, a better experience. Give him the money. Let's whack him on the head. Oh, he put his arm right through a shelf. Yeah, you just shoot people at random. Was well, that a sheriff? Shoot, shoot people. Oh, a little bit of glitch in there. In the name of the Lord. That smoke coming from the gun. Yep, that tree, mate, that will definitely uh, help. Dynamite them. And he killed the horse as well. Some popping. Minimum of 17, mm, yeah, maximum of 85, average of 59.8. I think we will leave that on that setting. We are definitely okay with that. Controls. Controller. Invert look. On. Good, all right. I think this game is definitely best played with a pad. Audio. Do we have any copyrighted music to turn off? Microphone enabled off. Voice chat enabled. No. Score volume. Let's just turn that down. And we'll turn that up, actually. Good. General. What we got in here? Auto save is on. Temperature in Celsius. Weights in pounds. Let's uh, clock in 24 hours. Camera. Enable dynamic kills. Third person high, first person defaults. There, okay. Graphics we've already looked at. Displays fine, controls fine. So, let us start. Our adventure in the Wild West begins in the snow. Because everybody likes a bit of snow.
By 1899, the age of the outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. America was becoming a land of laws, not outlaws. So there won't be a Red Dead Redemption 3 because there won't be any cowboys. Even the West had mostly been tamed. Mostly. A few gangs still roamed, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. Rockstar Games presents Grand Theft Auto 6. No. That's going to be some way off. Red Dead Redemption 2. Sounds cold. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. Stop being so dramatic. Just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There! Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old mine in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on! Come on! Yeah! Should have put a proper door on your wagon. That's the problem. Three wheels on my wagon. And I'm still rolling along. Chapter one. Oh. It's not really going to be that much warmer, really, is it? Unless you start a fire. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here. And you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Well, your choice is stay in there and warm up on the fire. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it gladly. Go on then. But. Oh, there's always a we bit. We're going to ride out, and we're going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. 
Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. All right. We ain't done yet. Good speech. Come on, Arthur. Round of applause, please. Right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey. I ain't had time to ask. Jungle. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Uh, oh. Hey. You need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Right. We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay Look at close. the snow. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. What you need is a bit of global warming. More candles, burn, burn some more coal. Careful over this bridge here. You'll see me all right. Why would I want to slow my horse down? I want to speed everything up. So this is the sort of thing. It's just Ride next to me, son. Don't want to lose you. You Can't don't we lost have any patience. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Pinkerton. Uh, more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. And what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It's stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. But we sure can't go back there to collect it anytime soon. Hey, I think I see something up the path. What do you see? I, I just Whoa. see snow. It's got better eyesight than I have. Alert. Don't be alert. I am pushing any button. Gentlemen, found anything? I think so. Why are you doing that again? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I don't know what that alert business was all about. I'm glad. Seen John? Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Coming past. Yeah. Okay. We're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. 
don't. It's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few boats, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. Ain't much, but shelter. So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders, you know me. Right. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Uh, thanks. Oh, goddamn, this snow gets right to the bone. A slow, 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 slow start to this game. This is what I mean about this game wasting your time. I mean, is it really necessary to do this massive, 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 massive long trek in the snow? Probably not. Needs to be Grand Theft Auto 5. You got stuck into things pretty much straight away, didn't you? Look at this. No. Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. At least we get to shoot some things now. Okay. Let's head down there. Health is displayed in the lower left corner, thank you. Why have we only got quarter health? Now to bar shows your remaining health, the level of the inner core influences how quickly your life refills. Let's hitch up here. Approach your hitching post. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. We well, we just want to shoot them. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. disturb you uh my friends and i well we got into some trouble up the way lost in the storm ah gentlemen we can't help you mister i got folks arthur dying on the arthur, we got a problem oh. <laughs> folks. there's a corpse right here no i i just arthur, need some there's a body of food in the wagon i hear you just gentlemen Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Is that an enemy one?
Where? Go search the cabin. What about him? No. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Whiskey, yeah, definitely uh set that can, thank you. Baked beans, lovely. He doesn't want to. Uh, I don't believe this. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here too. There's a big price on coal mines. Such cabinet. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Take. What in coal and dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Let's have some baked beans. Cold baked beans. My favourite. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Classic oat cakes. Maybe we should keep searching while I pack these on the horses. We close. Oh, all right. You Grab gonna... anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. I'm gonna have the salted meat. What about up there? Oat cakes. You'd have thought I would have put them in a uh, a better place than just leaving them upstairs on a a drafty old wooden floor. It's our bass. Oh, let's open that cupboard. We'll take the opened health cure. Yeah, excellent. I think that's everything. Blood. Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Investigate the barn. Is that the barn? I don't see anything in the barn. Oh, did I mean that barn over there? Are you going to check that barn? I'm going. What the hell are you shooting for? How do we run, right? Yeah, there we go. We're running now. Oh, you bastard! Shot my cousin! Well, he started 
I'm gonna break your neck! What's going on? Now this guy just jumped me! Oh, oh, did he now? Sneaky little bastard. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here, and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? Uh, with the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. Thank you. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> but... Choke. I choked you, mate. Why is a different button for picking up the hat and picking up the... I don't want to do that. How did I bring up the... So this is the other thing that I always I found in this game. You end up, it, I pushed Y and it didn't do anything, and then the second time you pushed it, it did do something. Okay. Michael, what the hell do you think you're doing? Come here. Get out. Why up there, Gage? Leave her alone. I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them old Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you. Oh, you fool. Michael. Miss. Now, it is going to be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss! Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. be toasted, eh? Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... They killed him. Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. Come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. He... He was my husband. Yeah, but he's dead now. It's 
That's what happens when you make your house out of wood. A wolf comes along and blows it down. Hey! Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back! How'd you get on? We got some food. Mike have found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Combe O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. The Driscolls. Thank you. We'll have to go That's and kill them. the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up, give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. How oh, I hope the snow goes away soon. Nope, snow is still there, but at least it's not dark. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Cold. Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and he looked for me thank you that thank is yeah i'm going to shoot him in the face last i know john was headed up the river for all we know he kept riding north and never looked back he wouldn't leave not like that uh, wouldn't be the first time Some smoke. smoke. Yeah. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of You sure it's not just snow? Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. How can you tell? There's some tracks leading to the river. Oh, good. Tracks. Up that way. He's clearly an expert uh, tracker. You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money. It seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. 
Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. <laughs> Tracks go left, down here. <laughs> Davey got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Hold. Damn snow's coming in hard again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. In the mountains. In the snow. Watch yourself. It's not very wide here. Come on, boy. Horses are struggling. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Yeah, maybe you will. It's exciting stuff. Perhaps we'll see a Yeti. Shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Horse weapons. We want. Hold. Well, mine's what shotgun then? Use OT. Uh -huh. Release to equip. Down this way. You sure about this? Coming from this way. Okay. Careful here. Me out of that. We're high up here. You're telling me. Help me. Stamina is displayed in the lower left corner. Of the outer bar depletes Careful. when you run, There's jump, climb. Here. Level of the court influences how quickly stamina can be refilled. It's slippery, be careful. Thank you. You're a full of pearls of wisdom, Watch aren't your you? Head here. If you weren't around, I don't know what we would have done okay. then. We'd have bumped ahead head on down. the rock. Watch your stem. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Push X to climb. Come on. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. Well, it sounds closer because you move closer to him. We're coming, John.
How you doing? I'm miserable. It's been a tough few days. I know. Here, take a drink of that. Yeah, because nice. that will help. I'm not designed for this snow. Let's keep moving then. Come on. Drink to maintain your cause. I can't wait to shoot this guy in the head. That's John. We're coming over here. He's down here. Hey! That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. Oh, I'm not going to carry him, am I? Freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Hopefully. Oh, look. Look up there. Distract him while you get to the horse. Go! Draw him off. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. <laughs> We're getting you out of here. We'll bring them this way. Hey! Draw them hey. off us, Arthur! Keep away from us. Well done, Arthur. Okay, let's get going before any more of these bastards show up. Calm down, horsey horse. Well, there's going to be some more of these uh, wolves now, isn't there? It's just like a, a dog bite. Uh, knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. Yeah. You ain't gonna die. Probably yeah. got some nice bacteria in those wounds. What you need is some antibiotics. All you need to do is invent some. Up there. Right. shelter now thanks for coming for me of course that bullet in blackwater now this you got a hell of a time and arthur always says i'm lucky none of us are lucky right now got the wounds should ride in the water for a bit try to lose a scent don't want to leave a trail right back to camp you know we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar so 
freezing, bleeding, starving. Them near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. Let's so get ahead, somewhere guys. that isn't cold, please. That's where we camped. Nearly there. No, he was only this far away. He could have walked. John! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Come on, here we go. There we go. Ay, oh. careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Good. You and Dutch talk Can I go, uh, get out of this. You don't get warm by the fire, then, please. Why, why are we standing outside? Get inside. You know, took outside in the cold. I know. The West is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. Yeah, good plan. <sighs> we have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Mission complete. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But well, we're safe here. Warm enough, I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. Oh, sorry. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Hosea. Well, right, she doesn't want to talk to us. We probably should have a bath or something. Oh, I am going to go outside again, have I? It's just cold out there. Yeah, you just dump where you like. Come on, me. Eh? Because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Yellow. 
cool. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess... I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. That's funny, huh? Serious. <laughs> Bit punchy. I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. Nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you... My fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Uh, well, we've got a lasso now, at least. Eh? Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score they're planning. <laughs> Cinematic. Look. What's that? Still Tracks. snow. Horses, quite a few of them. Three. There. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest one way Ooh, or reflections. another. It will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Annabelle, I can't do neither. What did you do to Annabelle? He killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's yep. cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Gentlemen, this is it. Is it? Are we goddamn ready? No. Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. And we'd better take a rifle or something.
Oh. All of the time you had binoculars stashed in your pockets. Who knew? There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. We just need a SAS 12. Just jump in there and. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. I won't. Which one's my horse? You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. Oh, it's not it, it? Alright, horse weapons. How did we do that last time? circle around the far side and go down that way same as Mike and Bill like you said revenge is a luxury we can't afford yeah just wasn't sure you agreed with me Arthur Arthur have you completely lost faith in me yeah our needs right now are supplies equipment and a way out of here everything else including comb can wait okay there's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Why don't we just shoot them from up here with our rifles? Where's the rest of them? Must have shot most of them by now.
There, no. Set the stun. I think that's all of them. Good. The bodies. Strip everything we can from them. See, that was much better idea. Taking them out from the uh, on the rooftop. Rather than getting up close and personal. My plan's always the best. Loot. Loot. Come on, loot. 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 
floor leads. Cigarettes. We don't have time to mess around. I'm not messing around, mate. I'm just getting my uh, getting my loot on. We're waiting on you, Arthur. Yeah. Good work, boys. Now let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur. You take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. If I could get in it, I would. There we go. That looks like dynamites. Hey, this looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Don't drop it. Did we get everything? I think yeah. so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. It is the Wild uh, West GTA. This is something about the train they was going to rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. And it's bloody cold. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. And slow. You. Not a man yeah, down. It's just Good the work, beginning brothers. of this game really does drag on. Starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John back. But it's definitely Carl, a nice John looker. Back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Yeah, and we'll shoot oh, him. Of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're going to stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. Good plan. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. I do prefer it, though, when we're not in the snow. All right. Let's make some ground. It's all all this stuff, all this just riding on the horse for bloody ages in wilderness. It's just Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Carl? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. It could be useful. Okay. Oh no, no. Isn't it a good job that we, we got a, a lasso? Gotcha. Hog tie. You're coming with 
me. I'm no use to you, really. Near the O'Driscoll. Oh, God, no. Look at the floor from here. Got him. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? To your camp. Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please. We're going to torture him. I hardly know him. Please, mister. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. We're going to choke him to death later. Once we've got the information we need from him. Have a heart, mister! Oh, God, please, no! Oh, I think I'm going to puke. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's I dare you. Right I there. double dare you. Force bonding increased to level two. Oh, that's a treat. Sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got them. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are going to find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Okay. It certainly does drag on whistling in the snow. I hate the snow. Ch 
sure is a pretty game. But this has been the 365 day gaming challenge. This is the challenge where I play and I play games on my body of shame every day. And we have been looking at the PC version of Red Dead Redemption number two. You can pick this up for 20 quid at the moment, which, um, I mean, this is a big game and this definitely runs way, way, way better on PC than it ever did on Xbox 360. And probably more enjoyable because of it, but it does take a long time to get into the main game. And I hate the snow. But I will be back again tomorrow with another game from my pile of shame. Until then, I hope you have a pleasant evening. And I shall see you later.